The temperature was rising at the 2023 Tour de France, which is available to watch live and on demand on GCN+. The heat was turned up on the sprinters and the GC contenders. After two days in the Pyrenees, it was likely going to be down to the fast men to finish in Bordeaux. Only one fast man had won so far in this tour. Jasper Philipsen in the green jersey and looking good. The stage would leave mont de -Marsan and head to Bordeaux. The start town had been the long-time residence of Luis Ocaña when he was racing after leaving Spain. This one, much more for the sprinters. 169.9 kilometers. A fourth category climb near the end, a tailwind as well, and the intermediate sprint smack bang in the middle. A warm day confirmed. The ice packs have been on at the start, 29 degrees at the start, rising to well above 30 by the end. It looked as though we were going to have a big battle for the breakaway. Four riders got away, they look set, and then the radio communication started. Oliveira would drop back, as would Abramson. And then Brogodo as well, leaving poor Simon Guglielmi to ask if he was meant to stay up the road. The answer was yes, and he soon got a big gap as Tadej Pogacar, the stage previous star, and the new yellow jersey, Jonas Vingegaard, rolled along for an easier start. The gap was about seven and a half minutes when Lotto Destiny took things up. They were ably assisted by a couple of other sprint teams, including Alpacin de Koenig, who'd won the two sprint stages prior to the Pyrenees. Maximum 20 points then for Guglielmi at the intermediate sprint. Peloton by this stage, though, had almost brought it back. Binyam Girmay looked good. It was between him and Philipsa. And Girmay took the 17 points. Phillips are content with the 15 and an extension to his lead in the green jersey competition. And then the fireworks started. Nonspetels in the white jersey and brown shorts. And in the blue shorts, Pierre Latour making it across to Guglielmi. Half a minute the gap with 75 k's to go. And then they try their best to build. Guglielmi naturally was the first to lose contact. And with six and a half kilometers to go, the breakaway duo was still out in front. And Wart van Aert was deciding that this wasn't a sprint for him. Latour, the final rider to be caught. Three and a half k's to go. And the riders already by this point in the zone where any crashes or incidents would mean that no time was lost. No time lost in setting up the sprint. Inside the final kilometre, Van der Poel starting his lead out at around 600 metres to go. Philipsen following. Grunewegen being moved up in the blue on the left-hand side. And Mars Piversen was always in it. Biniam Germay was following as well. Jordi Meus was in the shot, as was Sam Wellsford. And only at this point did Mark Cavendish come into it. He saw a gap. Van der Poel stopped the lead out maybe a little early. Cavendish hit the front. And neutral fans around the world were dreaming of 35. The record about to be broken, or was it? As Jasper Philips, with a perfectly timed sprint, made it a hat trick. Three sprints, three Philips and wins. Alpa seemed to Koenig utterly dominant. Cavendish having to settle for second is best placing in any sprint yet. Same for Biniam Gidemai, who was third. Mozzato with a good fourth place. And Grunewagen not getting going at this tour in fifth place. Cavendish seeing his opportunity and going. A winner in Bordeaux 13 years previous, but Jasper Philips are the man of the moment, the fastest sprinter at this tour. And if you add up the stages at the end of the last tour, that's five in succession now. Philips are on fire. Three stage wins, and the aim now surely has to be to cement the green jersey. A third of the way through this tour, and Jonas Vingogor is the leader. But it's not all cut and dry. It seems a two-horse race at the very top, but for the podium, it is open. General classification with an interesting day on the horizon sees Vingogor 25 seconds ahead of Pogacar, Hindley at 1.34 in third, and then it's 3.14 from first to Simon Yates in fourth. Libon to Limoges. A probable sprint, but with much more climbing and lumpy terrain this time. Many more carrots for the breakaway, 
and an interesting one in the finale. A downhill, then an uphill in the final kilometre. Limoges, the scene of a hotly contested sprint a few years back when Marcel Kittel only just beat Brian Kokar. You can watch it live and on demand, as always, on the home of cycling on GCN+. Plus.